So Sammy and Kevin come out to do a promo because it was announced on Friday that in Saudi Arabia, it is Roman and Solo challenging for the tag team titles so against Roman can get, Sammy Roman can and get, Kevin. Roman can get four belts. Well, that's uh, that's what they're claiming, but I, I don't expect that to happen. I guess we shall mm. see. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have Roman win the tag titles too. But who? Who knows? You know what I mean? Well, they uh, they said, listen, this guy's gone unchecked for too long. It's going to end, and uh, he's got two titles. He's been the champion for a thousand days. Now he wants the tag titles. You want these titles? You can't have them. So out comes the Judgment Day, and Kevin Owens is a hothead. He wants to fight. Sammy wants to hear what they have to say. And uh, essentially, of course, it does break down into a fight anyway, which sets up a tag team match for later with Sammy and Kevin versus Finn Balor and Damian Priest set for the main event. Yeah. So I think when it comes to the tag titles, um, I think either like the Usos somehow, maybe something will backfire or maybe something with Roman and Solo because I think that all that stuff, I think, I think the Roman and Solo is something that they're building towards. You know, not not anytime soon, but I think. Well, no, they got to do Roman and Solo versus the Usos. Yeah, that, probably I think, uh, singles I, I see, matches with Jay, maybe, maybe Jimmy. Maybe, I guess we'll maybe, see. Maybe, maybe. Um, I think um, you got to yeah. go through all of that before he gets Solo. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Solo is the 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 thing. And but here's the other thing: if um, Owens or Sammy, if they win. It makes the most sense. They may not do this, but it makes the most sense for Roman to be the one pinned. Yes, and then have Sammy go against him. You know, Sammy's more over than Kevin. Um, although the Sammy definitely is past his peak that he was in February. Well, there's a problem here, and that yes. is that if Sammy or Kevin beat Roman, they're on different brands. True. In theory, they cannot have this match. So I think Roman has to lose. Because on SmackDown, he was making a big deal about what a failure the Usos were, and they couldn't win the tag team titles, and they needed to apologize, and he belittled them, and he shoved them. And so the only thing that makes sense is he is the one that loses in this match. So then the Usos can bring up that you're the guy that failed, and Mm -hmm. this fuels his whole breakup that they're doing. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, they, they could do, they still can do Roman and Sammy again, you know, and they even talked about that, you know. I mean, they so um, I think that makes some sense. You know, I mean, there's a lot of potential matches. But, I mean, as far as, like, Roman and Solo against the Usos, which certainly seems like it's going to happen, I don't know. Like, again, you don't have to rush that one. And Roman and Solo, I mean, I'm thinking that's, you know, maybe next year's WrestleMania or even maybe, you know, months after that. You know, nothing sooner than I wouldn't think any any sooner than that. We had Nakamura beating The Miz with the Kinshasa. This match was fine. Last minute was good. They did a couple of near falls where uh, their referee was distracted. Miz hit an eye poke, skull-crushing finale, which the way they did it, you thought it was the finish, but Shinsuke kicked out anyway. Then he hit the Kinshasa, got the pin. And other than that, it was just kind of fine. We had Adam Pierce backstage with Raquel, Sonya, and Chelsea. So he says Liv got hurt on SmackDown, which is what happened. That's, that's legit. She was hurt. She was hurt on Friday, in the Friday night match. Yeah. So she was not medically cleared, and uh, Sonya points out, well, you know, this should be a forfeit tonight because they can't wrestle and they were scheduled for a match. Like yeah. that's ever happened. <laughs> well, the funny thing is she was right, but then Adam Pierce's response is, "Come on, that would never happen." Well, it's, it's only only in Jap- only in Japan. In the United States, it's never been like that. If you're going to miss a match, I mean, if you're going to miss like six months, yes. But if it's just one match, I mean, it's you know they they don't strip you in, in for a minor injury. And I, and I just by the way everything was played because I don't know what the injury is, and they they you know they, they didn't and they didn't say. But the way everything was played up, you know, it's not like if if she was going to be out for a long time with this injury, I think they would have said she's going to be out, and then they would take steps to strip them of the belts. I mean, it felt like it was something where, um, you know, she'll be back pretty soon. I mean, they and they went and did an angle with Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey later in the show with Raquel, obviously to build up a tag title match. So, you know, I, I mean, I think that it's a, a short-term, um, I think it's a short-term thing where Liv. It's, that's certainly the impression based on their booking that you would get. So Raquel Chell and Chelsea for a match later on. We had the first of a several-part interview with Corey and Seth. 
And uh, it was, I mean, he's totally in character. He's yeah. doing a total gimmick. He's explaining this is the most, uh, what did he say? I wrote it down here. It was later on. He basically said, like, this was the most genuine he'd ever been in his career. I was <laughs> like, that. what are you talking about? This is the least genuine he'd ever been in his career. <laughs> but anyway, built up to him saying that uh, next week he's going to talk about Roman Reigns. That's so, your big cliffhanger. It sure sounds like at some point that's another match that they're going to do. Yep, they're planting the seeds for that one. Yeah, so it's another thing where, you know, it's a guy from Raw against a guy from SmackDown. Mike Sempervivi here with you for the next hour talking professional wrestling, which is something we do every single day here on this program. What kind of mustache did Vince McMahon have? Well, goddamn! You had questions about my mustache, you just had to ask! My God, Vince, is that you? Hell yeah, it's me. What are you doing in my chair, kid? Yeah, yeah no, listen, I'm here, everybody, for a moment. You are. Because I know the only thing that anybody cares about is this stupid mustache story. I get a text. He's back, LOL. First, I was told he was snuck into the building. I started getting messages. Dude, he's got a mustache. You ever seen uh, uh, Gomez Adams from the Adams Family? That's what his mustache looked like. And he also had jet black hair. <laughs> I got a sale to facilitate, so I'm out of here. Shave that thing. Oh my God. Wrestling Observer Live. I went to Rite Aid. Oh, no. And uh, they had, uh, I don't know, that. I think it was by L'Oreal or something like just, that. Just for men. This right. is apparently not to be used to color all of your hair black. Uh-huh. So I got home, and I just... I start running the water through my hair, and, like, I can't even get my fingers through my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I washed my hair like seven, eight times. Until it fell out? Finally, I was like, dude, I got to cut my hair off. This stuff is not coming out. <laughs> I thought I was so clever making fun of him and spoofing his mustache and dyeing my hair black and going in there looking like Vincent Price. And what happens in the end? I end up having to shave my head because of this guy. I think Vince watches this show every week. He goes into the archives. He watches the Retro Raw. He follows along with us. Okay. And he was watching this show, and he saw old Burt Reynolds. Man, he saw Ronnie Sheer marking out for this guy, and he was like, that's the secret of mustache. And he went out and got a blonde with big boobs. I don't know about that one. Oh. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.